What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and some more Star Wars Legion here. So we're taking a look at this bad boy, this uh, super big box here for the Separatists. This is one of the specific starter armies or starter forces here for the game. So we're going to take a look at everything that we get inside here. There's plenty to open up here, so we'll get all that sorted out for you guys and then show you everything that you get when you jump into the game with one of these. We'll be right back. All right, guys, there is a ton of stuff in this box. So you're definitely getting, they're, they're pretty pricey. I think this was about 140, 150. So, you know, it's definitely up there in price to get started. But on the other hand, you have essentially a, a complete force here. And again, just a ton of sprues here. So we're just going to do our best and kind of go through these as quick as possible for you guys. So we get a little bit of everything in this box. So we have uh, Grievous as our commander uh, or one of our leaders here. So uh, again, and all this is plastic here, so pretty easy to work with. For those coming maybe not from other miniature games and just jumping into this kind of hobby for the first time, so pretty simple overall. Figures really aren't too complicated, although definitely you'll want to go online and get the um, instructions for, uh, for assembly, uh, something they don't include in the box. But anyway, Grievous looking cool there. Then we get a AAT tank. So that's, um, and there's, uh, we can say as well, just from opening the box, there's really no wasted space in this box. So it is just absolutely packed full of everything here. So, but uh, the different sprues for the tank. And this is definitely a big centerpiece for the Separatists here. Uh, whoops. This, which actually comes assembled like this, I was honestly surprised. Figured that would have required a couple of different sprues and bits and pieces, but no. So you got a big chunk of that already put together. And then three more sprues for the tank here. So just various bits, turret, and so on and so forth. And actually, I lied, sorry. One more sprue, tank commander. And then, yeah, here, getting into the turret and everything like that. Big old base as well. Oops, stuff sliding all over. And then we got our little plastic mount here so it sits off the base a little bit. So we'll get all that to the side a little bit here. Then this mountain in the middle of sprues are all your basic battle droids. So there's a couple different sprues here. You got a lot of repeats on this one, which is just your, your basic basic one here. Let's slide all this to the right a little bit. Get some of this out of the way. So the basic droid here. So we have several of those. Oops. So I said we got Tons and tons of these, basically. About well, four squads worth, as you get in the box. You get a couple sprues here for some of these special weapons. Looks like we got like a rocket launcher, a couple other things in there. So, a couple of those. So, four to be exact. And a couple more sprues here. These are, here, we'll get the extras out of the way. So four sprues as well here. Again, some other variants, I believe. Maybe some of the upgrades, but nonetheless enough to fill out all the bodies here of those squads. Tons of bases as well, of course. Obviously, there's a lot of minis in the, the kit in general. So I think it's something like well over 50 here. Double check in the box. Yeah, 52 minis in this box. So you're getting a hell of a lot here. These for the droidicas, we'll get to those in a second. And then all your infantry models essentially so so let's get all that out of the way Grievous doesn't roll alone so he comes with four of his Magna Guard buddies here so four of those sprues so if you remember um, Revenge of the Sith um, those are the fancier looking droids with some cloaks on and like the, the force uh, those like electro pikes and things like that so and looks like they got a couple different variants as well. So, so we get a group of those. And then we get four uh, droidicas as well. So those are those 
mechs, uh, not mechs, we should say mechs, droids, um, that uh, roll up in a ball and then have the shields and the blasters and stuff like that too, so really cool there. Again, very few pieces on these, but again, overall complexity is really not an issue. Just take your time and you'll get everything built in no time at all, although you're going to gonna be at this a little bit just because of the quantity of stuff. We get our cards as well. We're not going to go into all these here um, in the video, but just suffice to say you get all your uh, unit cards, upgrade cards, uh, battle cards, everything that you need, orders and things like that um, for the force. And this one supposedly contains some new battle force uh, commander cards and things like that, so it'll be interesting to see here. But there's the Magna Guards and everything else. And then topped off with one sheet of cardboard to your tokens of various kinds here. So there you have those. And then they do include a sheet um, with, you know, these little mini posters with some of the artwork from the box. Really cool. So there you can kind of see a lot of the minis that you'd be getting in here. And then on the back, Just some credits and things like that, but again, definitely worth getting the download instructions for that, just because uh, I think the order of assembly and a couple of the pieces certainly will matter, and you don't want to mess things up. Some of these are going to be a little bit more flimsy pieces as well, so you want to be careful there, like the droids, you know, they're not as chunky as like a stormtrooper or other the other troopers, other factions in the game. So you definitely want to be a little bit more careful, I think, with this faction overall when you're assembling. But as far as new ways to get into the game, you know, from when Legion first launched, uh, you know, we've seen this now with uh, things like Armada, uh, with Atomic Mass having taken over. So having like these army-specific boxes so you don't have to, you know, jump in and buy the two-player box to get the game and the rules and all that, and then maybe split off onto your other faction and you're stuck with minis you don't want because you don't play those factions, or, um, you know, having to take the time to find someone who wants them and things like that. So having these army-specific boxes, these faction-specific boxes, is a great way to get in. Um, again, a little bit there in the price point, but you're, you're getting a hell of a lot of stuff in the box, so that's I think that's justified. Uh, I think, though, for the price, really, I know they're trying to, I think, probably save paper and all that, but I feel like, you know, instructions could have been in the box as well. That's about the only knock on that. Um, but overall, again, just great ways to get into the game now that we have, you know, multiple factions. So, you know, we have the um, Empire and Rebels, the classic factions, the Clone Wars, um, and and beyond now as we as we continue to see the game expand and yeah, as they keep delving into new newer things here. So... Overall, definitely a great one. We're looking forward to getting this all built and then on to painting and then on to hopefully some games for you guys there so we can give you guys some more content. But let us know what you think of these newer sort of army starters for the game and this one in particular and any any specifics that you prefer on your loadouts for your, your battle droids and things like that and how that's gone in your games and just your general thoughts on where Legion's at now that we're several years into the game. So thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll be back soon with some more Legion's content. And like and subscribe, and we'll see you then. Take care. Take care.